This this video I'm recording for the American girl Kara in the US. Um, first of all, ignore what doctors say. Don't don't worry about doctors. Uh, what do you want? If you want to recover, you ignore the bad and just look at the good. And for and don't forget, I was a full quarter. I had full quadriplegia. I don't have any more. And how how I broke through was by. First, I ignored the doctors. I don't care about what doctors said. And then I just stubbornly just exercised. Uh, originally by myself, uh, lying in bed completely paralyzed, I, I managed to move my arms, and that took about a month or two. And it was just constant numb. In, in the beginning, it was literally just that. And, you know, because uh, of, of I was 41, and I had a lot of life experiences, and it showed me, ignore the bad, just, just whatever you want. If you want to walk, if you want to heal, just go ahead and do it. Ignore everything else. That's what I did for a month or two, in bed at night by myself, after my mom left, I just did that. And, and eventually, started moving and, and you, when you do it you're thinking about the movement and you're just trying as hard as you can to to move your arm and if you're even like um, more uh, if you got more injuries than that what you can do at night get one of the nurses to tie this tie the string to your head because you need that feedback you need to think about the movement and you need that feedback. And if no one's there to help you, you can tie that to your finger at night. And as you're thinking of that, of moving your finger, sl slightly pull your head back, just just so your finger moves a bit. And, and by doing that, and also thinking about it, and I I don't mean you know ten minutes. I'm gonna try ten minutes. I mean all night. <laughs> I mean hours until your brain is numb. Just keep on doing it like this. Move your head a bit, and, and you're thinking about it, and that will connect the 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 injury you have. Um, neuro, it's called neuroplasticity. And, and don't say, "Hey, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about." I was in complete quadriplegia, and, uh, and I'm not in quadriplegia anymore. It, it's a, it, this is what I used to. I, I don't do this, but I, I use my arm first. So. In, Get the nurses to tie this to your head at night time and then all night just think about the movement and, and move your head slightly just to pull that finger just so you get that feedback you know or, or you know I think you've got kids just just get them come over and just tell them to move your you know and while you're doing it you have to think about it and then numb and just a lot of exercise a lot of Repetition, and and your brain and your your nerves will connect it, the signals back. Oh yeah, you, you, you know part of my brain's missing, but I still connected it back. Not with surgery, just with exercise, stubbornness. Just think about it, and slightly t move your head back, and pull that finger. All night, well, not ten minutes, and oh, it's not gonna work. I did it for two months. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't even know it was gonna work or not. It's just I was stubborn. And, and you're lucky because I'm here. I'm telling you, it works. Just do that. Think about it, and pull it back. And do that all night. And in a few months, it'll start working, and we can think about. It. I'll, I'll figure out what else we can do. Yeah. Okay. Subscribe now, you motherfucker!